Hello everyone, I'm Artia. I'm a PhD student in Department of Industrial and Information Management, College of Management, National Chengkung University, Taiwan. I was enrolled in September 2019, and today I want to share with you about the food and culture in Taiwan. Yeah, as you can see, the food looks so delicious. Uh, NCKU is located in Tainan City, and Tainan is well known for its delicious cuisine. So finding good food is very accessible here, and the food always has vegetables and balanced nutrition. But be aware uh, that many restaurants uh, do not provide spicy food and Taiwanese food usually has less seasoning. But for you uh, who are Muslim or Muslimah, you should be aware that not every food is halal food. Uh, but don't worry, there are a lot of choices. Uh, we can get the halal food from catering, but it usually Indonesian food, or you can get from the restaurants uh, from Pakistani, Indian, Bangladesh, Thailand, vegetarian and muslim friendly restaurants uh, we have a lot here and if you prefer to cook by yourself you can get the halal meat from the traditional market and also you can buy it from an uh, online store and for the snack we can can we can get from the retailers as long as there is the halal logo or you can use the halal in application uh, by uh, using this application, uh, you can download it in App Store or Play Store. Uh, you can scan the ingredients and the halal application will show you that the snack is halal or not. Or uh, you can uh, join the group uh, HIC or Halal Information Center uh, because there is a Taiwanese Muslim friend in this group and you can ask him by sending the photo of the snacks and then our friend will answer your questions and the second thing i want to share with you is the society culture in taiwan which may differ from your country uh, first taiwan is always sorting ways uh, for the recycling ways leftover food uh, cooking ways uh, glass uh, bottles or cans and etc uh, because in Taiwan, there are fines for those who are throwing garbage uh, or trash uh, carelessly. And then in Taiwan, uh, after eating at some restaurants or canteen, uh, they ask you to clean the dishes and take them to the special place for the dirty one. So you should do it by yourself. And then third one is in Taiwan uh, walking cycling or using other vehicle the direction are on the right uh, so you should pay attention otherwise you will get hit by the others and then uh, here uh, many people uh, use uh, public transportation for going to school or go to work and also a lot of people uh, use the bicycles to work uh, or going to school or just get strolling around the city and people here are used to queuing uh, because they are taught from a young age uh, to practice patience uh, respect each other learn uh, to respect the time and it creates a good culture here and then the Last one is many restroom or toilets is a dry restroom. Uh, it's very rare, very rare we can find a toilet that uses a headlet payday sprayer or the ETH one. So if you are not convenient with this, you should bring uh, wet wipes or wet tissues or you just put the water inside the bottle. And But uh, still, we, when we use uh, the water inside the bottle, we should keep the floor uh, dry. Oh yeah, I forget this, but this one is the electricity plug, so it's different. The shape is like like this, so you should you should prepare for the adapter plug if 
uh, your device is used different another culture that i want to share here is the traditional culture uh, modern taiwanese culture blends of chinese austronesian japanese and western influences so visitors have opportunities to witness traditional religious practices and ancient customs uh, festivals have long played a significant role in taiwanese society uh, taiwan celebrates uh, many festivals throughout the year as you can see in this uh, slide everyone including foreigners like us is welcome to see it uh, this uh, festival here in this slide shows is the taiwan national day or double tenth day and then moon festival lantern festival dragon boat festival and many more festival throughout the year so i can say that overall taiwan is safe and very convenient to live in thank you very much for watching this video we will be very happy to welcome you here see you